that films work only because of their story and their intent and never with their star power. So that is uh, first thing. Second thing is uh, when you say that you have all responsibility on you. So I don't think that because there is a burden on you that you have to behave on you. You have to behave on you. Like I said before, I am like that. 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 Nothing has changed. And nothing will change because I was before also responsible. So I don't think that there is no new thing that suddenly I have done a patriotic film. And it's become a hit or something. Oh, you have to be a hit. And now I have to be a hit. Like I said before, I am like that. I am like that. Indian culture, Indian philosophy के लिए जरूरत है and that's all I want to promote and this film after this I won't answer anything. This film I want to tell you why it's a very very special film. Any film अगर आप जानना चाहते हैं कि किसी फिल्म को सिर्फ ट्रेलर देखके कि ये कैसी होने वाली है the first thing you should judge is the intent and the sincerity and the honesty of the makers. So about Shankar, I can say I have known him for a long time. Is one of the most honest, most honest people I have met on in my entire life. His intention is so so pure about it, and then uh, he's got a wonderful crew and team and sincere people. It's an honest film, and a lot of people, everybody I know, uh, complains the why film industry is not changing. This is the change. This is how it is changing. हमारे राइट्स की बात करते हैं हम लोग आदिवासियों के राइट्स की बात करते हैं हम लोग जानवरों के राइट्स की बात करते हैं हम लोग डॉग्स के राइट्स की बात करते हैं कैट्स के सो आई थिंक बॉयकॉटिंग एनी थिंग इज एन इंडिविजुअल राइट इन अ मार्केट प्लेस पर द सेकंड थिंग इज ये बॉयकॉट की सिचुएशन आई क्यों और तो ऐसा है कि जैसे कोई टूथपेस्ट बेचता है कोलगेट बेचता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल और कोलगेट बेचने वाला अपने जो कस्टमर से उनका मजाक उड़ाने लगे और बोले अरे जो लोग सुबह उठ के ब्रश में टूथपेस्ट लगा के करते हैं वो तो सब इडियट्स हैं तो आप क्या करेंगे कितने कितने कॉलगेट खरीदेंगे तो ये थोड़ा इंट्रोस्पेक्ट करने की भी बात है कि आज क्या कारण है कि ये नौबत आई है एंड ऐसा मैं नहीं मानता हूँ बॉयकॉट बहुत फिल्मों का होता है कश्मीर फाइल्स का तो पूरे के पूरे बॉलीवुड ने इको ने क्रिटिक्स ने मीडिया ने सब ने बॉयकॉट कर दिया था थिएटर्स ने एग्जीबिटर्स ने लेकिन अगर अगर सत्य में दम होती है और अगर आपकी फिल्म ऑनेस्ट है और सच्ची फिल्म है तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत उसको रोक ही नहीं सकती Actually, India and the Middle East came from the Greeks. It comes from the river Indus. They are called as Indians. But before that, in Puranas, there is a name for India. There is Bharat. Why we are uh, following the so my question was that in the current social political environment, what constitutes a party? Maybe any one of the past members can take. Sir, please can you explain me again? I said in the current social political environment that we live in today, what constitutes a party for you? For me, Haritians is a word that combines us all, that cleans all the boundaries which we all have created, which we all have been created. Media has also been a part of it, always. So any issue, when it comes up, we divide it, south, north, east, west. We have been doing that. So in this movie, we have brought everyone along. And also, 
even if we go by the genre of the film or the where it belongs, it belongs to India. It doesn't belong to Bollywood. It doesn't belong to Bollywood. It doesn't belong anywhere. It is belonging to India. Hard place. And Bharat word has been used because we want that from now onwards we should call ourselves as Bharatians. Bharat, not India. Because India was being given by the Britishers. So you want wanted that concept to be clear? No, no, I just wanted in the sense that uh, I'm today in politics and social economy. So I think the early part of your answer is I think you can South films, uh, the South films are working a lot in Bollywood. So, how do you see it to it, and what is your take on that? needs to explain this. In the beginning, Raj Kapoorji, Devan and Sir, and Vivek Sir, they were doing story based movies, all sufferings like that. Next came Arabhan with Raj Kanaji, and the trend changed. All romantic. Everything. Again, the trend changed with Jinji and Bhajan Sahib ruled the Bollywood. Trend changes. Bollywood is not recognizing what is happening. After Jinji, Amma Fay called Dilwale Dulhaya Rejai, 1994. They came, the whole Bollywood changed into the family love stories. After that, Crossover films came into Bollywood. They just immediately Hollywood movies. And their audience began to dancer from the theaters with these crossover movies. After that, Bollywood slowly collapsed. They are detached from the theaters and OTT also helped them. What we could want, I am not telling you as a writer or a director. I am inspired by so many Bollywood movies. Now people want what type of movies? 
when I was sick. So I couldn't actually, you know, audition for the role. And again, 20 years later, I got a call from Prithvi. I got, I got a call from uh, someone else as well, and they wanted me to uh, for a screen test regarding this role. And then I did. I um, gave my audition, and that's how I was casted. And uh, it was a very good experience for me because, uh, also because it was shot in my hometown. So it was such, it was a very uh, warm experience for me. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's important. A very good evening once again. Um, I would like to start by thanking Mr. Dean Rajpur and Mr. Shankar Nandi sir for producing and making such an important movie. And I think it's the perfect time to release such a movie because we are all very patriotic right now. And uh, you know, not many directors and writers gather up guts to make such a movie. And I think it's very important that all of us pay attention to this film intensely. Also, as we all know, North. Uh, the northeastern part, we don't get that much representation in the mainline movie stream. And so therefore I feel very lucky and very grateful from the bottom of my heart. So, um, talking a little bit about myself, I am Kiri Rahmanambil. I am former Miss Sikkim, Miss Northeast Diva and Miss Supranational India. Um, yes, and uh, thank you very much. Don't you think it started by Anik? As you said, the perception of, I'm talking to you. Perception, you know, when we talk about North East India. What's the shooting pattern? This is what I'm asking her. Let her answer. What's the question again? I said, do you think the perception, perception already, you know, changed? It started with Ashwam Khrana's Anik. Uh, of course, I agree, but then I think we had shot way before that, and also, as we know, we are three North Easterns in this film. I don't think anybody ever had cuts to do that, and all three of us are the main cast members. Imagine how many cuts, how much belief they put in us. You know what I'm saying? It means you are saying Aishman came after you. It's a different story that got released. Sorry, I have no comments about that. Thank you. There was Arboni after you. Uh, and I'll uh, come for this. You know, it's a wonderful job. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, but uh, our genre is a bit different, yeah, you know? I have one question of me. You know, right. looking at the film, you know, I was very impressed when I see that the film of me uh, comes into a uh, film. Uh, you know, but obviously, language uh, yeah. is a barrier. Regional films also working, but it doesn't get as big yeah. as a Bollywood movie. And also, I feel we don't have that many resources. Of course, I think that is your job as a media to you know inform them and talk to them about it as well. Not many, but our film has been shot in Sikkim as well. So there, I do see a change. <laughs> Um, recently, I did a Arab part in the Sasan Kapoor's The Last Star, and I was up. So I feel like slowly, like you know, not least also the actors are getting some work. But uh, as we, we were asking, like you know, like, um, there's there has been more movies, like you know, and also have produced 